Well, one thing is for certain, uh, this PEXA pipe uh, flexes pretty well, but not in this cold temperatures. Uh, we're sitting at about 21 degrees today, and so we're gonna continue on and finish off the pipe for the hot water heater, and then we'll uh, start down below. But we'll get on that and see if we can get this uh, last bit completed. Well, as you can see, this stuff is not, not flexing well in the cold. But we'll just keep fighting it until we get what we need here. I need six foot four inches of this pipe for the... Yeah, I don't know. It's going to be tough. We're just going to have to keep working at it. cut somewhat straight I still got to keep monkey with this pipe it is not uh, it is not caring for this cold weather what whatsoever so we just have to keep playing with it And what I'll do is I'll, I'll loop back these two pipes and connect them so that way when we do our pressure test and all that it, uh, it won't leak and we can, we can do the actual pressure test on it. And then I'll fully com connect all this up once I get uh, or, uh, the uh, actual water heater here. But we're quite a bit of ways from that so we'll just uh, button this up and then continue on with the plumbing. So we're back at it today. We're gonna to try and get the uh, three quarter inch hot and cold run underneath the house. The issue that I'm having with it is that it is uh, not very flexible in cold temperatures. And right now it's uh, starting to warm up after this last cold spell, but that, uh, that pipe doesn't wanna flex really well. It takes a lot of work to get it straightened out. And I've got some pretty long runs. I've got about a 28 foot run on this side of the house and then coming this way, I've got probably about 48 feet that I have to straighten out. <laughs> I think it's easier to try and do it up here and uh, that way I've got plenty of room to, to straighten out pipe and flex pipe uh, and then we'll see about dragging it underneath the house and getting it uh, above the pony walls and then in line with where we need it to go. Uh, I'll make all the connections once I get the main line run and, and we do that. But uh, we'll get busy here trying to straighten this stuff out and uh, see if we get uh, get done. I wish I had like a, I don't know, like a heat dryer or, or air, heat dryer, uh, blow dryer or a heat gun out here. But uh, right now, currently I don't. The only thing I have is a torch and that's a little bit too much for, for that. Uh, but uh, I thought about setting this stuff out in the sun and I did for a little bit. And uh, you can see with the half inch pipe, it's, it's kind of loosens it up a little bit, but not, uh, not what I need. So anyway, we'll get busy trying to straighten this pipe out so we can get underneath the house.
Well, I got this part of the house run. <clears throat> the, uh, right down here uh, is where the uh, pressure tank and the uh, jet pump will be. And I'm not sure if I've got to build, I've got to build some kind of platform out there to hold it and to set it on. Although I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I'm gonna do there. Gotta figure out something, I gotta go underneath the house cause I don't have, uh, I don't wanna hear that pump and all that in the utility room. It'll be a little too loud, so. Anyway, we'll continue on. We got this run. I got plenty of uh, leftover so that I can connect everything up to the farthest point, which is the, okay. which is down there, is the kit, is the bathroom sink. <clears throat> and so we'll, and so we'll get that uh, connected up here a little later. I just want to get these three quarter inch lines running and then we'll start connecting everything up. All right, so we've got the three quarter inch T and I'll connect these lines coming into this and then we'll be, we'll be good to go. But that is a lot tougher to stretch that three quarter inch pipe with that device. Uh, the uh, $400 uh, electric one would have been nice, but uh, well, it is what it is. We're getting through it with what we've got. So we'll make do and keep on going.
All right. All right, well, we got that three quarter inch to three quarter inch from one side of the house all the way down to the other side of the house then. So now we start connecting the half inch lines, which hopefully will go a little easier, but who knows. Go for it. <laughs> We're going to put the three inch baffle in on this end so that we can run from the toilet, the shower, and then the bathroom sink all off of one set of lines so that that way we're not cutting splicing into this three quarter inch all the time. And then we'll secure this back up in here once we're done. All right, so the next thing we've got on the other end of the house, so the end with the kitchen and the guest bathroom and uh, the pantry, is I'm going to be putting in this six six uh, port uh, baffle or manifold, so that I can connect the uh, uh, blue hot water um, lines into all their locations, rather than splice in a sp bunch of different times into this three quarter inch. I'll just put in the one. Uh, uh, manifold and then we'll branch off of that to all the different things. <clears throat> the same thing with the hot water line. I've got a three inch one because I only have three uh, hot water lines that have to go on this end of the house uh, or four actually with the dishwasher. I still got to get that done. But overall, we've got uh, we've got the manifolds for this end of the house. So we'll get busy putting all those in. Can put that on there. Make sure it's all the way down and then we'll be good to go. Okay. Grab that piece, grab the piece by your foot. So now I'll go ahead and get that three, that th this three-way uh, baffle in for this for the hot water. You want to have a crack at the three-quarter inch, do you? My laser line established and uh, I'll go ahead and start drilling through for the pipe and then we'll get that run and connected.
All right, so the four connections we have on this end, I've got the tub cold, tub hot, washer hot, washer cold. So we've got those in place and now we'll uh, just have to keep working and then we'll connect everything up to the manifolds. But it's coming along little by little. <clears throat> All right, so we're making good progress. Again, we've got our uh, three quarter inch line right here. And then the, uh, <clears throat> Well, we're making pretty good progress. We've got our three quarter inch line here with our uh, manifold, and then we'll uh, run straight back here. Uh, the toilet, we have to run a cold water line there, and then we're doing the uh, sink hot and cold, and then that should uh, tie up this part of the house. And then the next section is the uh, kitchen sink, and then the ice maker. So we're making, uh, we're making pretty good progress. We'll just keep at it and see if uh, we can get this done. With the cold water manifold, there were a few lines that came in that required some modifications and some different ways of thinking in order to make them work. For instance, the ice maker, I figure since it has low output, I went ahead and used two 90s to create the loop there to hook the manifold into the water line. Not ideal, but again, it's such a low yield and low use line that I went ahead and did that. But we got that part in and then we focused the same thing with some elbows onto the hot water lines. This way we could get everything connected and have everything on the manifolds from hot and cold water both. Well, that took some muscle, but it managed to get it, get it all done. So that valve is complete. Uh, pretty stoked about that. Well, and with that, I've got the uh, ice maker all hooked up and uh, ready to go. I've got this line running here and running this way to uh, the actual uh, hookup at the baffle down there. So uh, one more line to go. That's what's the uh, guest bathroom sink, cold water, and then we are done with all of the supply lines underneath the house and above the house. So pretty excited about that. We're getting closer and closer. So let's continue. Oh, now we have all of the uh, three quarter inch uh, pecs uh, down below connected to the half inch uh, to all of the different uh, faucets and outlets that we're gonna have in the house. Pretty excited about that. That means that all of our plumbing uh, rough in is complete. Got uh, all the three inch uh, drainage lines have been completed. All of the ha uh, one and a half inch venting has been completed. And now all the supply line, the hot and cold lines are in. And we are, <coughs> excuse me, we are one step closer to uh, moving on to our next project. I'm pretty excited about that. I think uh, I think we've come a long way. Like I said, I'm not an expert in plumbing, but I sure got a hell of an education in it. Anyway, I appreciate it. I uh, hope this, uh, you like this type of stuff. If you do, please remember to like and subscribe, and uh, please leave some comments down below. I love uh, hearing from everybody. Anyway, thanks for watching.